Hi, I'm Eric Brace. Tonight we've got a band that started off in England in the mid 80s. They're still going strong now. Tonight, MHC presents Acoustic Alchemy.
because I listen to you and I hear so many different elements coming into it. You bring so much to the music, but sometimes what I what I hear are just songs without words. Yeah, well, I mean that's quite a good description. We have they they are <laughs> they are songs wow. without words. Um, that's because we kind of you know our material is is very much written with with this idea of a song in mind. It's not it's not really like jazz where you'll have just you know, the first tune and then improvise for hours. We're, we're, we actually construct the songs and we're quite careful about how we do that. The new age thing, you know, grew into smooth jazz. I mean, it was like the new age category came first and it, then it kind of evolved over the years because we're talking about 19, you know, as I say, 1986 is when, when the first CD came out. This is sort of, you could, you could almost call it maybe the third installment of Acoustic Al Alchemy because the original founder, Nick Webb, died in 1997. Yeah, Nick started Acoustic Alchemy in the early 80s um, with another nylon string player. And I, I think what happened was um, the idea of having uh, instrumental music, a nylon string and a steel string guitar fronting a band, it was kind of a bit ahead of its time really for England. They weren't ready, they were, yeah, they weren't ready for this, you know. Uh, a year later, Nick had died and you had to make a decision whether to keep going or not. And was it difficult or was it more an honor to him to keep the band going? It was all of those things. Uh, when we started Positive Thinking, we decided to kind of rent um, a big English country manor house and, and bring the studio to, to that room near where he lived so that when he felt he was able to, you know, uh, uh, when he was well, he could just come in and, and sort of record. You know, it, it was all set up. But he didn't, he, he, you know, he, no. he, he, it wasn't up to it in, no, the, it in the end, really. No. Nick's very old buddy from music college came in and covered all his parts for him. And then, of course, having finished the album, but we naturally had to tour it. Yeah. I mean, it's just all part of, there's no point just putting an album out, no one knows about it. So we toured it with, with John Parsons playing Nick's parts, which seemed right. And then that's when we discovered that there was a, a, real, a real will for the band to go on. People were just, the, the, the the fans were so supportive, right, so grateful work. that we'd come out to do this. Yeah. Mm. You are thinking of going on, aren't you? You're not going to stop. Right. Yeah. Well, I'm glad you have yeah. continued. Now, five years later, you've got a new album out called Art, A-A-R-T. Miles Gilderdale, Greg Carmichael, Acoustic Alchemy. Yeah.